Hey girls and guys, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. We are back with another episode of Dungeons of Dreadmoor. This is episode 9. Uh, if you've been watching my series, uh, we've been going through episode 7 and 8 as continuous character. Due to a corrupted file from the cloud system when we do... When I lost all my computer files uh, during the crash earlier this week, uh, the cloud had a corrupted file which drops my Dungeons of Dreadmoor and absolutely kills it. This is a big issue, haven't been able to rectify it, uh, can't be bothered trying to rectify it, so we're going to start a new character. So this is episode 9, she is going to be called episode 9 because we go alternating heroes and the last one was a guy, so now it's a girl again. We've made a few changes, uh, we're keeping burglary, we're keeping assassination, we're keeping swords, we're keeping battle geology, and we're keeping communist. In is smithing and jewel wielding. I'm going full muscle bound arm strong strength. Yeah! We're going for as much damage as we can pump out through one little hero. Episode 9 is her name, and off we go. Uh, come on. Don't lie on me now. Come on, let's go. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, real. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, standard things first. Um,. I'm going to be continuing um, through levels. I'm going to be trying to keep the hero else alive as long as possible. Other things I'm going to be doing is not going down floors until I feel I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to be trying to keep these videos relatively short, anything longer than half an hour, and I will save the game immediately and quit out. It is quarter to the hour. It's all right. Oh, good. All right, cool. So, because we're not running vampirism, we can eat and drink. These are wonderful little things. Trap, awesome. All right. Sound effects are a little loud, but that's not too bad. Um, as always, standard. If you guys want to give me feedback, I will happily accept it. I love hearing that from all my fans. Um, I'm up on the Freedom Network now, not partnered with, but I am using that network to help further progress my gaming. Uh, they're a good network. Uh, check me out on there, Armstrong Gaming as per standard. And there we go. Let's go take on this little baddie dude. Um, there's our level, yeah. It's dangerous to go alone. Let's take this. Alright, normally I end up picking socialized healthcare. Uh, I just want to point out a few things. Uh, so, smithing, that little little muscle bound thing is burliness. Burliness gives you. Uh, getting hit by large objects uh, affects life points, melee power, and block chance. It is the bomb, diggity. So, we're going to go Ingonia. Next, we're going to go Socialist Healthcare first because healing is awesome. Um, and having healing that pertains to another way other than just eating and drinking, even better. Oh, so we're doing pretty well with these little vending machines as well. There's some cheese. There's a fud. Some fud. Some fud on chops. Fud. I. Right. what the hell is this guy? 28 hit points. So they're doing 5 hit points. He hits me for six. Um, let's eat H steak. Yes, he hits me for nine. That's great. Two more hits and he's down. Oh, and I only dealt him one. And we're just using the abilities of communism to get out of trouble. Because that's what it does. Uh, I'm going to... Just manipulating the little game just a little bit to get myself some hit points before I go in and kill him. Cool, and by manipulating the game I mean just moving around in general. Like, uh, there's that arrow trap that I needed and see clearly. Alright, so we're doing alright for cash early on. Uh, we've got no fear of monster zoos on this level. Uh, which is how I finished the episode 8. We're finishing off a monster zoo for the first time on these film series. I've done them before in Gwatnia, which is what we're just taking there to get the extra um, 
little bit of melee power. What's this? Two of that, one of that. It does three, it does two. We have an upgrade for our swords. It's going in the offhand because I've got dual wielding. I don't suffer any negatives, which is fantastic. Uh, and it'll also do some things later on. Well, you're an inky thingy. I will pick you up in a second. That's great. Let's drop you there. Let's pick you up. Obviously, my trap finding went up um, because I'm spotting those traps instead of just cool, more drink. Uh, and instead of them just being little lines on the floor. Another statue of Dreadmore, which is fantastic. Ooh, another trap, which is awesome. What are you? You Shane this Malashon wants you to like chill out and stuff, bruh. Alright, let's pick up all the stuff. Let's click the lever. Let's actually attack instead of just standing there. Pick up more food. We opened up this little area, so we got that little bit of water. We're doing alright for hit points. Yeah, I was like, what's going on there? Alright, I've, I've spoken about that before. It's the Luke Fist stuff. We're not going to bother with it at the moment. Kill the Diggle! Yes, yeah, so currently we're doing 11 damage with the starting weapon. Um, and that's literally just because of all the bonuses I've got from Eagle. From, um, I'm not going to even bother trying to say it. Oh, sweet. Um, from Smithing. The first two levels of that have been wonderful for us. Let's put this on there. He is pleased. He has given us one poison damage and one little healthy thing, which is more life. Wonderful. So we put that there. We go up to 47 hit points, and we're going to do another two points of damage. Got a lot of those anvils when they work in your favor. They're wonderful. All right, so the, this little thing just indicates when you stand on it, something will happen. And in this case, it spawned a whole bunch of critters for me to kill. Which is good. It's like, hey, you bro, want some experience? All you gotta do is click a couple of times. I'm like, yes please, I'll take that. Get some coins out of it too. Let's head down here. No way else out of this room except for the way I came. I'm gonna try and do full explorations of each level as well, guys. Um, I must be out of lock pits. Oh, another one of him next to each other. Wow, that that's that's I haven't seen that before. Alright, so this way, because we haven't gone this way before. Kick that door! Kick the door! Hey! Kill the little baddie. And let's kill the Siegfried. Alright, got him. Easily done. Uh, we don't want that. It's not that good, but it'll be worth selling. Alright, so you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm a little bit sick. Oh, man! Little Red Cookbook. If I had Sionics, I'd be able to, like, boop and push that aside, but no, uh, I don't. Alright, so that little section's done. There's no other ways around that area, so we're going to go back through where we've been and go through doors like this. Oh, sweet! I know you guys don't know what that is just yet, but here we go. It's the Horodric Luke Fish Cube. This is a cube based on the idea from Diablo 2, which had the Horogic cube where you put a whole bunch of items together and you meld them into one or multiple depending on. Alright, so we're at about the 10 minute mark as well. All right, I might do two more rooms and then we'll call it a thing. So what you do is you put items in here, let's say we put this grog in here and we get Luke Fish, which we saw above um, allows you to tithe Luke um, loot fish for items possibly which is picking up a quest because what the hell if we kill the guy we kill the guy otherwise nah, stuff and things stuff and things and things and stuff it's like the eggs and steak song from um oh sweet um from family guy eggs and steak and eggs and steak steak and eggs and eggs and steak um it's just a stupid little song um don't like to normally sing a little bit, but sometimes, yeah, I'm not that interesting when I say stuff. Is there a little way up there that I missed? Yeah, I think I have. How about I go check that out before I go left from, right from the starting area? Uh, because I kind of want a... Oh, hello. Let's kill you, Miss Amazonia or Bumble Pea person. Yeah, there's a little spot over here. 
Oh yeah, just step back on the trap. That, that that's real smart, man. All right, lever, boom, bash it open. Yeah, supples, sweet. Corkscrew bolts, sweet. All right, all right. So we're we closing in on ending this first video. All right, let's let's deal with these guys. Communism! We need socialist healthcare! And the level. Alright, we're definitely ending it after this uh, little level up section. Stone Secret's going to give me two more to my block chance, which is fantastic. And it's also going to give me three resistances. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a bit of a must at this level, just to make sure that I can survive a bit further. Click. Done. Survivability. Gotta go that way. Alright, cool. So we've got a couple of... Um, down points, internal contradiction. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool. So this is the end of episode um, 9, guys. We are doing okay. I'm going to try and keep them short and sweet, and we're going to do complete clears wherever we can. Alright, this is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. If you like this sort of stuff, you need to check out my other RPG sort of stuff. Check out Skyrim. It's very different to this sort of game, but still a hell of a lot of fun. We will catch you next time. This is Matt. Take care, guys.